Hi, Debbie here, and welcome back to 2017 Osaka and Kyoto Travel Series. Today, we are going to introduce some great places to eat in Osaka. There will be many restaurants introduced, and it might be hard for you to try all of them in three or four days. Make sure you're not hungry right now, so no more talking, and let's start. The first one is Kyo Ramen near the Osaka Castle. Actually, there are several branches all over Japan, so you don't have to come all the way here for it. There are many kinds of different menus. You can order only the ramen, or a set, which includes ramen, ocean eggs, Japanese fried dumplings, and rice. The price is also cost-effective. I really like the open kitchen of Japanese restaurants. You can see how your order was made, and it also gives the restaurant a brighter and wider view. I had the basic Kyo Ramen. The noodle was really chewy and also the roasted pork yakibura was sweet and well cooked. I finished all of them in 10 minutes. It's just too delicious. Another ramen shop is Ichiran Ramen. This one is pretty famous among travelers because of special order prices. There is only one choice, but you can adjust the richness of the soup, spicy or not, or add some sides to your order. It's like a customized ramen. The noodle of Ichilan ramen is much more thinner than the cubes, so I like Q better. Ichilan ramen also sells instant noodle that you can bring back home. The second must try in Osaka is the takoyaki. It's a ball shaped snack made from wheat based batter, which also has cabbage and diced octopus inside. You can see takoyaki almost everywhere in Osaka, and there are several famous takoyaki restaurants too. The one I want is the Otako Takoyaki, which is right on the main street of Dodonbori. The highlight of the takoyaki is the dancing katsuobushi and mayonnaise on top. Put the takoyaki, katsuobushi, and mayonnaise together into your mouth. You can find their taste match perfectly. There are many takoyaki restaurants, so if you want to know which one I recommend it, Click the Google Map link in the description box to find out more. Sukiyaki is one of the must-try when I was planning my trip. Luckily, I found Sukiyaki Ichiban, which is near to Golden Bully. It's famous for the all-you-can-eat walking. To start the sukiyaki, you first heat up the pan with some oil and put in the meat. When the meat is half done, pour in the sauce and dump in the vegetable and wait for it boils. This is how Kansai people eat their sukiyaki, but if you go to Kando, it's opposite. Interesting, right? And there's also something that you can miss about the sukiyaki. It's the raw egg made of the salt of the meat. After the meat is properly cooked, coat your meat with the fresh egg and send it into your mouth. Oh my god, the saltiness of the sauce and the sweetness of the fresh eggs combines perfectly and I still can't forget the taste. Most people are really excited to try real Japanese sashimi and other Japanese food. I recommend you to go to Kuro Market, which can make all your wishes come true. I have already introduced what to eat in Kuro Market, so click the information box here to find out more. So let's move on to sweets. The first one is the famous cafe called Pablo, which its signature is the cheese tart. The shops that are the most convenient for the tourists are the ones in Shinsaibashi and Dodenboli area. The one on the Shinsaibashi shopping street is for takeout, while the one in Dodenboli has seats. They have a variety of sweets and sandwiches for you to choose, and the cheese tart also comes in different flavors. The cheese tart is really creamy, and you surely can taste the aroma of the cheese. The sandwich wasn't bad too. It's really a great place where you can take a rest if you are tired of shopping. Another sweet is matcha, which is a must try on every traveler's list. Ushian on Shinsaibashi Shopping Street sells matcha ice cream that's pretty impressive. Don't forget to give it a try. What about the matcha in Kyoto? Don't worry, I'll be filming another video especially for the matcha in Kyoto. These are the restaurants that I tried in Osaka. It's already a lot, but there is still something that I didn't have a chance to try. It's kushikatsu and okonomiyaki. Kushikatsu is a deep fried meat or vegetable on a stick. It is said that the kushikatsu was originated from the Shinsegai district in Osaka. The two famous stores are Ganzo Kushikatsu Daruma in the Dodonboli area and Yaigatsu near the Tsutenkaku. Another thing that I didn't have a chance to try is okonomiyaki. 
It's a pancake-like dish containing a variety of ingredients, and the Osaka style is the main version. There are many okonomiyaki restaurants in the Dodonbori area, and the two that I passed by is Miduno and Chibo. They're both pretty well known. If you want to know what other okonomiyaki restaurants are recommended, also click the Google Map link in the description box. I'm so hungry after filming this video, and I'm already missing their taste. The two that I didn't try will definitely be on my list next time I visit Osaka. So I hope this video can give you more idea on what to eat in Osaka. And also, I'll be filming a video about what to eat in Kyoto too. So stay tuned or subscribe to my channel to find out more. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.